Alrighty, so I went to the park today, of course, because it's a weekday. And it looks like the first pre pre lift <laughs> was installed. So you have that first angle of ascent being installed right now. The actual pre lift, the one that angles up into that 45, 47 degree angle, is also sitting on site and ready to be installed as well. So it is looking like the lift hill is off to a great start. Um, and uh, probably by Friday, we'll have um, a, at least one of the very large 60 foot pieces installed. Again, I do not see any signs of that lift hill, or sorry, that crane that is probably going to assist with lifting um, the track piece. Again, with the lift hill and the 60 feet long and the weight and all that, they need two of those very large cranes to help install those. Um, so I, I see no signs of that yet, but usually they can arrive. Uh, they use a company that's located just down the street of them on the highway. So getting one up there the day of is probably not difficult at all. It's the assembly of those cranes that is probably takes up the most amount of time. Anyways, tomorrow they'll definitely have the pre-lift completely installed and they'll start working on the support columns for the lift hill. So by Friday, I'm guessing that at minimum we'll have that first 60 foot long piece installed. I'm trying to think if there was anything else I noticed. Uh, they have the netting um, installed on the station and brake run. There's the pre-lift I was talking about. And then they have those like um, what looks like uh, troughs that like catch water or debris that fall along the track. Uh, they have them installed on the station and brake run already as well. Um, not much else going on on the construction site today. Um, a lot of people are asking me, why do you think the it's the biggest question? Why do you think they started so early? Um, there's multiple reasons. A lot of people are saying weather. Well, yeah, that's definitely probably a, a small factor. I mean, you have to look at Leviathan and Behemoth and all. They were all built over winter and they opened in time. No problems whatsoever. That's not the that's not the factor we're looking at. The main factor is definitely the tunnel. Um, it's a big project in itself. And the second biggest factor is Frontier Canada. Again, it's a shame the park couldn't announce Frontier Canada at the time. No one really knows why. The biggest rumor is that they don't actually have a contractor yet and the rendering's fully done. But we do know and have confirmation that there's a whole brand new area opening up with this coaster. It stretches all the way from Timberwolf Falls all the way over to this coaster. That's a big project in itself. So that, to me, is the biggest factor as to why this coaster is taking so long. Um, winter is definitely not at play um, for this. It, 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 they build coasters in winter in Canada all the time. I mean, for the lift hill and drop, definitely. But the rest of the coaster is pretty low to the ground. Then it's not too much of a... Uh, a contributing factor to the timeline of this project. Um, Ohio gets pretty similar weather too, and Val Raven was built over the entirety of the winter. But anyways, that's all I'm going to say today. Tomorrow will be a much more exciting update with the lift hill going in. Uh, today was a pretty small one. Hope you enjoyed it regardless. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, stay tuned for some pretty big updates coming. We'll probably have the drone up on Friday. Have a good one, guys. Bye.